Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know where I come from. Whatever it comes from. Really difficult question. Uh, how did it feel today, Jacob? Felt really good. Um, you know, the past few days it felt really good, felt back to normal. So it was just, um, we took, what, four days off throwing, so four days of throwing before I got back on the mountain. So um, it was a small step, but um, a step in the right direction. So, um, you know, the plan moving forward is to, you know, keep progressing and, and build up pitch count and get in some games. So for people who are new to following you here in Texas, I assume that there would be some sense of relief that you got on a mountain. Is there a sense of relief for you? Yeah, you know, like I said, the last thing you want to do is come in and say left side's a little sore. Um, but, you know, we, we were cautious with it, um, you know, and looking at it now, I think that was the right step. Um, still got time to build up and, and get ready. So, um, you know, definitely the last thing I wanted to do. But, um, you know, we're moving in the right, the right direction now. When was the last time you say you remember feeling soreness in that area? Left side? Um, you know, I don't really recall feeling soreness there. Um, you know, I had a side thing, I don't know, 18, I think, but it was from swinging. Uh, but that was my right side. Um, you know, so this was a little bit strange. And, uh, you know, that's whenever I was like, hey, you know, I feel it a little bit. And we decided to give it the days to make sure it was gone. And, um, you know, I haven't felt it since. So, so like the last week you've been at some point during this little shutdown, it was like that? Yeah, it was, it was gone. And, you know, it was just okay what's the right amount of time you know what's too much what's the right amount and we decided on the four days and um you know like we looked at it and still have time to build up and be ready to go so that was um, maddox said you know that two bullpens and a live bp there's plenty of time to catch up you don't yeah. feel like you've fallen behind guys at all. no i think um you know i threw it was either five or six at home before i got here so that was way more than i normally throw so i felt like my arm was in a good spot and that's why, you know, talking to the, um, the training staff and Mike and, and taking the four days we didn't think was that big of a deal because we'll still have time to, to ramp up. And where I was at coming in arm-wise, um, you know, we felt like we were in a good spot. So today you threw up what percentage of effort? They said just nice and easy. So, I mean, that's always a, a tough thing to say what effort you're throwing at because you'll, you know, it's who knows. Yeah. Like you think you're throwing at 75%, but if you – it, that'd be 75 miles an hour if, yeah. you know. So, <laughs> that's a pretty good you, yeah. It's kind of tough. With you, so. it's easy to do those percentages. So. But that's where percentages are always tough. So the goal to, uh, today was to just go through my delivery, stay nice and smooth, which, you know, that's whenever I feel like I'm pitching at my best is when I'm nice and smooth, not trying to do too much, let everything get in line and, and let my delivery be nice and clean. So that was the main focus. And like I said, I felt nothing up there. But you've come to camps in the past where you basically came out of the shoot throwing 97 yeah. eight, purposely not trying to, to go. No, we're not going to try to do that. Um, you know, I've, I've done that before and don't really see any benefit of it um, now looking back. So, um, you know, it'll it'll be a gradual ramp up throughout camp. Did you throw any sliders today, any breaking balls? No, or? today was all fastballs. All fastballs. Uh, we'll mix that in next time. Okay. Did, was there a radar gun going? No, we didn't have one out there today. I was curious what percentage the radar gun would say. Well, yeah, that's what we'd have to ask. <laughs> but there wasn't one. Right. Jacob, the transition to the new team, how's, how's it going in general after so many years in one organization? It's got to be an adjustment to being somewhere new. Yeah, it's definitely an adjustment. But, um, you know, the guys who were here before have been great, um, very welcoming. Um, and then, you know, the free agents that we signed, um, everybody's getting along well. Um, I was out there watching Nate and them throw. Those guys are impressive. So fun to be around, um, you know, and – and looking forward to getting out there and competing with them. You know, that's what this is all about. We're here to compete and um, take the field and, and go out there and, and go to battle with your team. What, what's the vibe in the clubhouse? It's like laid back, but kind of a confidence. Yeah, you know, everybody, yeah, everybody's pretty laid back, but know what we need to do. Um, we got to put the work in to be ready for game one. Um, and, and, you know, it, that's the thing with this game. You go out there and, and just being around these guys and knowing them seeing them from across the way, how they compete, uh, they leave it all out on the field. And, you know, as a teammate, that's all you can ask. Go out there and give 100% and, and get ready for the next one. So, um, you know, these guys do a good job of that. The way they're preparing this spring has been impressive. So, um, like I said, looking forward to game starting. I was going to ask you about your college transition um, to pitching. Do you ever think about 
how different life would have been if you had just stuck it out at shortstop and, and not given this pitching thing a chance all those years ago? I would have liked to have thought I'd be playing every day, not every fifth day. But, um, <laughs> you know, it probably wouldn't have made it this far as a shortstop. So, um, you know, wasn't too excited about the transition at first in college, wanted to continue to play the infield. But, you know, now, um, you know, I love pitching. So uh, have a routine, you follow it. You go out there, the, you know, you're in control of the game. Um, and, you know, it's something that I really enjoy. Is there, do you feel like having moved over to this organization, are you getting a sense, Mike's got, Mike's big on routine, right, mm -hmm. for pitchers. Is there a sense that the idea of routine will be any different, different to you here? No, um, you know, I think being around a little bit, you build a routine and, and you kind of stick with that, um, you know. Early in my career, you d I didn't really know. I was trying to figure that out. Um, now I have the stuff that I like to do to get ready to uh, pitch. Um, so you have your in-between stuff that you try to stick to. And um, you know you make minor adjustments to it based on how you feel from start to start. But um, for the most part, you, you try to stick to that rout routine you've come up with. What have the conversations with Greg been like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I picked his brain a little bit about, you know, what his his thought was on when he was pitching, um, having him around. Like I said, anybody you can learn from um, is a huge plus. You never know everything there is to know about this game, constantly trying to uh, figure out ways to get guys out. You know, hitters are making adjustments, um, and we have to make adjustments too. But talking to Greg about kind of his game plan and what he thought, um, you know, uh, definitely took some things from him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know all my struggles, you know where I come from, whatever it 